Greetings everybody. I am a Muslim woman and I have a very, very important message for you. For the people of the West, whether it's Europe, whether it's United States. I like to tell you that I spent most of my life in California. And in my 20s, I was a model. I was dressed like, like everybody else dresses, okay? And I didn't think anything of it, but that was the way of life. When I wanted to look for the religion that protects me and protects my honor and really gives me peace, after embracing many religions, I adhere to Islam and I found this is the religion that protects women's right, human right, men's right, children's right, the marriage right, everything that I was looking for all these years I found that Islam offered that to me so I started slowly it was not overnight I started slowly covering up and I understood the cover up why it is important and that's to protect women's dignity and also this is divine order so as I joined many religion I found that the foundation of all religion Hinduism Buddhism Judaism Christian women were all covered up they were covered up and now all of a sudden it seems like somebody who's covered up you know you're demonizing the religion that she belongs to we don't care about her rights anyway i've come here by the sea that everybody's calmed down and just <laughs> calm down <laughs> i'm calm you calm down i just wanted to tell you that most of the time in california as i was now i am 74 years old from the time I was in 30s and 40s, I was always trying to help the women that had some kind of a mental problem. A lot of times there were abuse, abuses, whether they caused it, whether the men brought it upon them. I had to deal with so many of that. And then in like, I even helped at the shelter, women's shelter. I was one of the volunteers. And I saw so many women abused, raped, into drugs and going back to the man because of the drugs. And I'm not saying this is situation with every woman, no. But I found so many mental and stress problem because women are left on their own without protection and they, of course they do whatever the society calls upon them. So now you as Westerners trying to help the Muslim woman liberate them. Oh, this she's wearing, she's covering up, you know, she's so oppressed. She, you're doing, you're trying, look at what you're doing with people, uh, women in Afghanistan. Your media is full, your media is full, showing women in Afghanistan have been abused and everything, and now you're trying to save them, bring them out of the country. I'm not saying, I'm not defending any, any countries politics or anything i'm just talking about muslims the muslim woman you're taking out of there what's going to happen to them you're going to liberate them they don't have to wear hijab no, next thing you know they're going to be on stress pills and uh, they're going to have all kinds of mental problems because they are used to being covered honored they are honored when they're covered i'm not talking about somebody or some government they may have abused them in the past that's possible that's possible. this is not this is not the way of Allah. Allah has given us women protection through Islam, not through somebody else imposing their own agenda on us, on us women. So if you really, really want to help Muslim women, there's only one thing you can do. Stay out of their affairs. Stay out of their affairs. Let us handle our own problems, okay? You want to help and save somebody that helped you. You're trying to do this, reward them because they helped you one day. But the best way to help them is to let them be the way they are. Let them be in their own country. Let us be wherever we are. Do not have this all this propaganda make us look like we are victims. We are not victims. Okay, again, I'm talking about, yes, there are abuses. Yes, there are some things that should not be done that has been done to women around the world, Muslim women. But at the same time, there are a lot more non-Muslim women, Western women that have been abused and nobody is talking about it. They, I understand from the data, three out of four, this is American women, 
one, three out of four American women have been abused one way or another. Nobody's talking about it because they way of life. But for right now, if you really want to help us, Muslim women around the world, I would say stay out of our affairs. Let us live our life. Let us be close to Allah, our creator, and live according to the way he has described, ascribed for us to live. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this beautiful scene. <laughs> Have a nice day. Peace be with you.